Hey again, do uh, can't even say it. Hey again, guys. <laughs> I can't even say it. Hey again, guys. I won't say that again. Uh, okay, so just after the last video, I was just thinking about sales funnels, and I thought I'd just split them into two different videos, really, um, because this video will also be uploaded to YouTube, and if you're watching on YouTube, then welcome. And if you're listening to the podcast, if we make this into a podcast, and welcome there as well. But sales funnels, uh, I just want to clear up some confusion about sales funnels because, and it's not even uh, sales funnels where the confusion lies, but it's in where people think that their business is going to grow. So my belief basically is that you should be spending 60 or 70 or 80 or 90% of your time marketing. Right? That's my belief system. It depends how far in your business you actually are. If you've got zero customers, it's like 100% should be doing on marketing. There's no point in dealing with you know, stuff at the end of a sales cycle, like deliverability of the product. Right? I mean, to some extent, that needs to be able to happen. But you've got no customers. That's really not a problem, is it? Because you've got no customers. You don't have to deliver anything. The problem lies in getting customers. And for most people in any business, um, it's just, I just don't know why it's not seen as the most important aspect of your business. It's ridiculous. It's like, if you're selling a product for a thousand pounds, if you can sell 10 or 20 of those products, then you made 10 or 20 grand. Why bothering with your accounts or with, you know, deliverability issues when you haven't got anybody to deliver to, right? So anyway, most of your time should be spent on doing marketing and so I just wanted to draw out a sales funnel just to get you started to some extent and just so that you can understand what a sales funnel looks like, why it exists, how it can help your business. Um, I think we've got a street cleaner now coming down. Oh, I'm going to have to stop doing these on the morning because we have like the dustbin men turn up, the street cleaners turn up. Anyway, we don't care and as long as you don't care, I'm alright. Like, we can live with a little bit of noise in the background. Uh, and if we can't, then you've got bigger problems. <laughs> but it's gone now anyway. So anyway, so let's draw out the sales funnel. This is what it looks like. It's really basic, okay. And this is where a lot of people are getting stuck. This right here, so you've got Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, emails. So all of these are all sending people into your funnel. Okay, so this is a funnel, this is all traffic coming into your funnel. Now what a lot of people do is that it gets stuck here. Let's write stuck. Because yeah, you're making videos and maybe you're doing some podcasts and it might even be going to the website, okay. But what happens once it goes to the website? Or even worse than that, okay, it's giving away too much information in the videos. If you're gonna give, like, don't get me wrong, you should always be giving away your best content. But if you're giving away too much information, it, they just get, they don't even get to this point and get stuck on your website, okay? They're getting stuck on Facebook. But you don't want them on Facebook, you want them off Facebook. Or at the very least, you want them in your own private group, like, like this group, okay? Like the Wealth Creation Strategies group. So Wealth Creation, like there's three angles to Wealth Creation. Number one, cut your costs, fairly obvious, but nobody does it. Number two, generate cash. That's what all of these videos are talking about right now. And then number three is to, is to put that cash into an asset that generates more cash. So then your cash works harder than you. So like for me, it's uh, Thursday. I'll probably head to the beach again later. My cash is working harder for me than I do by a long way. Although we're, we're quite busy at the moment. So maybe I'm working a little bit harder than it is. But I need to get it working as hard as I can. But this is all about generating cash. You want to get people off Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube, and you want to get them onto your website. But once they're on the website, what you know? What next? Like, like for most people, they just send them to the homepage. Well, that's ridiculous. Why are you sending people to the homepage? You want to? So if you, if I'm doing a video about sales funnels, right? Guess what web page I want to send them to? One about sales funnels. It might be some sales funnel training, or. It might be one about business coaching, it might be about marketing, it might be about how to create videos and podcasts and sign up for this free thing. But right there, that's where you want to be sending them to. You're wanting, you're wanting them to sign up for something. Because th these are the facts, okay? And I can't remember the facts, so I'm going to make them up. <laughs> but these are the approximate numbers of the facts. Uh, something like 93% of your visitors will bounce off your website in the first seven seconds. 
Listen to that no- those numbers, and I think they're actually quite accurate. 93% of visitors will bounce off your website in the first seven seconds. Uh, so, that's the first one. And the second one, see if I can remember it, I think it's something like uh, 65% or maybe 70% of those visitors will never, ever come back to your website. So you've got seven, can't do it, seven seconds to grab some attention from them, okay? And 65% of those will never ever come back. They're done. They'll never ever come back to your website. So it's not looking good in terms of numbers, okay? So what you've got to do is you've got to present some sort of sign up. So on my website, for example, if you're a first time, uh, well, it, for, the way it happens is we have a pop up, okay? So if you're a first time visitor, the pop up comes up and it says, do you want to listen to our podcast? Yes, let me in or no. And I do need to change the no to no thanks i already know everything that's what we're going to change it to because <laughs> i think that's quite funny so uh, and it actually ties into my sort of personality personality but i actually think that will work better because no one wants to put yeah i know everything already so we'll put yes and then we'll subscribe that's the uh, psychology behind it anyway so in the first uh, so it pops up uh, after a couple of seconds a big box it overlays everything else it says do you want to sign up for the podcast our conversion rate on that box is about three percent so for cold traffic, warm traffic, basically everybody who hits that website, about 3% of us people will sign up. Okay. So then think about that. If 3% of us people hitting our website will sign up. So every 100 people, 3 people will sign up. Surely then we want 1,000 people going to that website because then 30 people will sign up. Surely then we want 10,000 people going to that website because 300 people will sign up. Do you see uh, how this works? So you want them to sign up for some sort of offer. Then if you want, and we don't actually do this right now, when our sign-up says, download our free podcast, so you put in your email address, it texts them to a thank you page, it says go check your email, because we want them, it's double opt-in, so we want them to click the confirm now button. They click the confirm now button, and then they get sent automatically to the podcast page. And actually, what we're really going to do next time, um, is we're going to send them to what's called a one-time offer. And the one-time offer, it'll be something that they can buy that's greatly discounted. Because you've got three types of people. You've got um, greens, you've got ambers, and you've got reds. Greens will buy it, right? They don't need anything, they'll just buy it. On a one-time offer, they'll buy it. Your ambers, they're not going to buy it because they need a bit more information, okay? But they might buy something later. And your reds, they're not going to buy anything from you. Um, let's say greens are 5%, or ambers are 20%, and the reds will never ever buy anything from you, 75%. Imagine that. Imagine 75% of people hitting your website are never going to buy from you. It's a terrible statistic, but it's an absolutely accurate statistic. Like I've made the numbers up, but in, in terms of the percentages, it's not, not too far off. Most people are never, ever going to buy from you. So, and, and bear in mind, okay, most people are 65% are bouncing within the first, no, 93% are bouncing in the first seven seconds, and 65% will never come back. These numbers actually look even worse. That's why this bit up here, this is your most important aspect. Not all of this stuff down here, delivering product and all of that kind of thing. And, and oh, well, should we put a, a full stop here or a paragraph there? Oh, no, it's the wrong shade of blue. Let's make the shade of blue a little bit bluer. Like, what the... What the <laughs> right, this is how people are working their business right now. And then they're wondering why they've got no customers because they're spending all their time on what colour their logo should be when nobody gives a shit other than them, right? So... And if you listen to this on a podcast, I apologise because you can't see this, but you can imagine how this works. So, um, so you send them to a one-time offer, and then after that, you can send them to whatever it was that they signed up for, you know, the free download of a podcast and that kind of thing. So then, you see, um, once we've got them into the mailing list, okay, and not everyone's going to sign into a mailing list, and also, once they're in the mailing list, open rates on emails are getting worse and worse and worse. Do you remember in the olden days, when 1993, <laughs> if, if we had email in those days, and AOL came along and had Joanna Lumley saying, you've got mail. Everybody got so excited. And now when you get email, like, oh, goodness me. Um, so um, uh, most people are not opening emails either. Okay, so they're not going to your website. And when they're on your website, they're not staying. And when they're not staying, they never come back. And then when they do eventually sign up for your email thing on a 3% will, <laughs> they then never open your emails because you're getting maybe 10% open rates. We used to get 20, 25% open rates. So above industry average, it's about 18%. But now we're maybe 10% sometimes, depends on the email. Sometimes it's lower than that. Uh, and it's crazy, right? 
but not everybody wants to listen to um, wants to open emails. That's one of the reasons why we also send people to our um, groups where possible. Okay, so uh, uh, now we can start to email them, and this email basically is about engagement. Engagement. So we've now got 26 emails uh, that are all lined up, all to start engaging. They tell stories, they send people to videos, they send people to podcasts. Um, the story thing works very well, by the way. So like, this is what your sales funnel should look like. Most people start a business working out what product is we're going to sell. Like, that's fine, and then we're going to research and all the products. What you really want to do is work out how you're going to try drive traffic to your website. And then once you're driving traffic to your website, what are you going to do to get them to sign up for something? What is that going to be? Is it a quiz, maybe? Is it a download my free stuff, maybe? Is it come and attend my free webinar, maybe? Is it come and join me in my uh, uh, um, Facebook group, maybe? But ultimately, you want to get them onto your email list. And then when you... Um, and if they're not on your email list, you want to get them into a group. And if they're in a group, then you want to start doing things like Facebook Lives. And start generating engagement and interest. And it takes time, it takes a lot of effort. Like, if you think doing one video is going to do it and going to break the mould for you, it's it, totally not. I remember Gary V. he was saying he's got one, one video that he did and it went viral, but it only went viral after he'd done like uh, several hundred other videos, right? Because that's the way, reason why it went viral. You don't just do one video and off it goes, goes viral. Unless you get really lucky and you've written Gangman style, right? First video ever to get one billion views. But most people don't get that lucky. And we know that because there's only one Gangnam style, thank goodness. So, where are you in your sales cycle? Where are you in your sales funnel? What do you need help with? If you want help to do this, this is actually one of the things that we do. When you come to the villa for the strategy and implementation intensive, this is actually what we do. We sit next to you, side by side, at this very table, um, uh, with this very whiteboard next to this very swimming pool. <laughs> and we go through, what is your sales funnel? And then we... we Plan it out on paper and then we start plugging things in. We'll work out what your one-time offer is. And then if necessary, we'll create it. So let's say a one-time offer is a webinar. Great, let's work on a webinar slide. Let's get that done. Let's go live tonight. Even if nobody attends it, that's fine. Let's go live. Let's record it. And then we can uh, host it somewhere. And that can be our, um, our one-time offer that people can then sign up for. Maybe a two-and-a-half-hour webinar. Whatever that happens to be. Maybe it's a PDF and we'll help you create that. But when you come over, we plan it all out, right? That's the strategy part, okay? And then we implement it. And every single bit, if we end up writing 26 emails over, over the next two days that will create engagement for your list, then that's what we do. So if you want to come over to the villa, then uh, just uh, hit me up on my website, daniellatter.co.uk. Um, and then if you've got any other questions, come and join me in the Facebook groups. Come and find me on uh, Facebook, We're an open book. If you ask me a question, we'll just probably go Facebook Live and we'll answer it so that everybody else gets to benefit from the answer as well. All right, that will do us for that video. Quite a long video, that one. Uh, or podcast, if you listen to a podcast. <laughs> uh, so, uh, my name's Dan Latter, and we'll speak to you in the next video. Take care, guys. Have a good day.